She hurried to the back stairs, thinking the things she always thought when it came to frats and frat guys, that their appeal stemmed from a primitive need for protection. One thought of Neanderthal clans banding together against other Neanderthal clans. That the hazing the pledges underwent, being stripped and blindfolded and left in the lobby of the Biltmore Hotel with bus fare taped to their genitals, enacted the very fears of male rape and emasculation that membership in the fraternity promised protection against. That any guy who longed to join a frat suffered from insecurities that poisoned his relationships with women. That there was something seriously wrong with homophobic guys who centered their lives around a homoerotic bond. That the stately mansions maintained by generations of dues-paying fraternity members were, in reality, sites for date rape and problem drinking. That frats always smelled bad, that you didn't ever want to shower in one. That only freshman girls were stupid enough to go to frat parties. We're all tired. Nobody wants to be here. We got class tomorrow. Everybody's <laughs> tired. <laughs> but here we are. And honestly, personally, I'm proud of you. This is the end of the process. I could even call a couple of you brothers right now. But I can't call just a couple of you brothers. I got to call every single fucking person here. No, My no. Brother. No, I disagree. I'm not ready to call any of you my brother. I don't trust any of you. You guys have been using this house this whole semester. You're just here because you want to fuck girls. Girls that we bring to parties. You're using our shit. You're drinking our fucking beer. No, I'm not ready to call any of you my brother. We have one of you right now. One of you is missing. Who's missing? Somebody's Who missing? missing? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? I don't think they know. They don't, I don't even think they know. know. They don't know? They don't know! They don't know! What the fuck is it? Chester, who's missing? Find the fuck out! Tell us. Who's missing? Show them, boys. <laughs> yeah, it's your pledge brother, Buttchug. And if you care about your pledge brother, Buttchug. They care? They obviously don't. This guy's a varsity athlete. He's gonna be taking a shot every 10 minutes. He's already taken a couple. In fact, I think it's been 10 minutes. How long has it been? 10 minutes! How long has it been? 10 fucking minutes! 10 fucking minutes, Pledge! <laughs> Woo! Every 10 started. minutes. Tits, tell him about it. Honestly, it's not that hard. This was my favorite night of pledging. I know it doesn't feel like it now because you're tired. The you last know. night of pledging. You haven't, you, you haven't slept in a while. Whatever, this is, this is a good time. It is you a just gotta, it's like a scavenger hunt, you know, you, 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 you go around, but the thing is, every 10 minutes, Buttchug over here is gonna take another shot. Oh, how unfortunate. But it's not hard, it's not hard. There's only one place on campus where uh, there's, a, there's a horse, and what it does is it, it shits on a sphinx, okay? There's a the place horse? on campus, that's it, where a horse shits, shits on a fucking sphinx. Go! 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 Oh, no! 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 Oh,